Hi guys, my name is Valerie from Valerie Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to improve the animation by working with groups and layers. So first go to settings, canvas, activate the drawing guide and then activate the animation assist. I want to create a simple bouncy ball animation, so first I'm creating the path, then the main keyframes. Don't forget about a squash and stretch effect when the ball hits the ground. And then I decide when the animation is going to be slow and when it's going to be fast. As we learned in the first part, more keyframes it's slow animation and less keyframes it's fast. I highly recommend to you guys to watch the first part of this tutorial because there I am explaining more about these principles, I leave a link in the description below. Now make this layer as a background layer so he can be our guide layer, decrease the opacity. Turn off the guide layer, choose a brush, add a new frame and start to draw the ball. Make the ball more stretch in the areas where he's gaining speed. Let's see what we got. I'm increasing the frame rate to 24. Nice. Let's improve the animation by increasing the size of the ball. Choose the frame that you want. And with the transform tool adjust the size and the positions as you want. Looks great. Now let's say that I want to add a little splash here in this moment when the ball hits the ground. I am choosing a different color and I can start to draw a splash here but if I want the splash be behind the ball what should I do? I'm going to show you guys how to do it first we need to create a new layer under the frame that we want to draw on then we need to create a group for those two layers so select the layer and then select the second layer by swinging with your finger on this layer. Then click on group, make sure that you're standing on the new layer and then start to draw. Repeat this process to the next frame. So create a new layer under the frame that you want to draw, group those two layers, make sure that you are on the right layer and start to draw. 
Basically, we created a group of layers that Procreate considers them as a one frame. For us it's very convenient to work with layers and groups like that because we always can go back to our group and create a new layers and add more cool stuff to the animation or even change the existing layers. Let's see what we got, looking nice. And now we can improve the animation even more by adding a speed trace, with the same techniques using a groups. That's it for now guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, subscribe to my channel and I see you next time in the final part of this tutorial.